I got this cute little garden dish at Dollar Tree. This is going to be so quick and easy and simple. And I do like these dishes. They're just really flat and they're clear. So you can do so much with them. So I am going to make a little garden dish. So I pulled off all the stickers. And I disappeared for a minute, as you can see. I'm probably looking for something that I forgot. Ah, there it is, the moss. Okay, so I got my moss from Dollar Tree. It's some that I've used before. And then I also bought some new moss. So I'm going to fill the dish with some of this moss. I'm just going to pull it apart and then I have another bag as you can see. I'm just going to get the moss out of it because I don't need the other pieces that are in there. And I'm just going to spread it around nice and thick. I got these little, um, I guess, garden pieces. I got them at Dollar General. They were a dollar. So I'm just going to place them in the moss. And I got the little succulents from Dollar Tree. Just going to take the tag off. That little clip comes out too, so you can pull the clip out if you want to. I left it in there just to clip it to some of the greenery or the moss. And like I said, I got the little accessories at Dollar General. They have a bunch of them that are different ones. And you could just move them around and do different things, place them where you want to. your choice on what you want to put in your little garden dish. As you can see, I'm switching them around, putting the chair in the back, the little well in the front. And I think this is so cute how it turned out. It's just something really simple, quick. And I used, as you'll see later, I put it on a charger plate and it made it even prettier. So you could do a silver, a copper, or a flowered one. Um, there's so many different ones that you can do. Okay, I'm making some little stairs out of some floral moss.
just using a knife to make the stairs. And there you have some stairs. And then I'm just going to cut that little piece off at the top. Okay, this is those little Christmas boxes that you get at Christmas time. I painted it. Um, it's the one that um, I don't know if they have them any other time of the year, but I bought a couple extra and I painted this one green so you couldn't see the Christmas um, decorations on it. And that's where the little stairs are going. I know I'm a little off camera right now, so you can't see it. I do have a piece of um, scrapbook paper that I am going to cut to fit inside of that box. I'm trying this new angle. I'm always trying a new angle for these this channel, which I can't seem to get it to work the way I want it to but I'm just using my glue gun and I'm going to stick it inside the box now I already poked a hole in the back of the box so I poked it on the back of it with a screwdriver and now I'm going to put the little stairs inside And I'm gluing the little stairs to inside of the box with the glue gun. I'm going to put some moss just to cover it a little bit over the floral foam. And as you can see, I have the fairy garden figurines, which are going to go inside this box. That came from the Dollar Tree. Actually, everything came from the Dollar Tree except for the scrapbook paper. And that came from Hobby Lobby. So I'm just adding some more moss. I know you can't see it. It's hard to work with this box setting straight up and letting the camera see it because everything falls out. But you'll see it in a minute. So just stay with me. There it is. And these are the little figurines that you get at the Dollar Tree for your fairy garden. I'm going to glue some of them to the stairs and some of the other figurines inside the box. This would be cute for one of your kids, like a night light, because I'm gonna put lights in it. That's why you do the, you put the hole in the back of it. So these are also cute. So you just pick out the ones that you like and you're going to glue them to the inside of the box.
I think this turned out so cute. It's really cute for somebody who might want a nightlight or just to give as a gift to somebody. I'm getting the little lights that I bought at Dollar Tree. Putting some batteries in it. And then I am going to pull it through that little hole in the back because these are the real tiny ones with the wires which you couldn't find at Christmas because they sold out of them and I haven't seen them since I bought a bunch back in February I think so I haven't seen them since to be honest with you see they fit right in that little hole and then you're just going to string them all the way through and I just taped the little battery pack to the back. I used to glue them on, but I decided to just tape it with some painter's tape. And I'm just going to put the lights all through the little box or the little scene. I wrap it around some of the little figurines. I'm just going to tape it with a painter's tape because you would want to change the batteries although you could glue it too but it, I was just not sure what I was going to do in case I wanted to use the box again Isn't that adorable? It's adorable. How cute is that? That'd be a cute Mother's Day present too. Birthday gift. There it is again. You could see the little gnome walking up the stairs, visiting their friends. I think it turned out perfect, really. So cute. Okay, this is um, actually the same garden dish. I just decided to do another one, which you saw the first one, then we could do this one a little bit different. So get some white rocks, Dollar Tree. Just gives you a different idea of how to do it. And then I got some sea glass. You can use any kind of other rock, or you could just use the white rocks. You could put moss on that too. But I picked out just one color out of the sea glass. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I picked, oh, wait a second, I picked them all out. And then I'm going to do the little succulents. I took the little clips off the back of these. And I'm just going to push them into the rocks. And this is just a different way to do it. I liked both ways. It's just going to be your preference. And maybe what you already have on hand. So you don't have to go out and buy anything. But again, the little figures came from... Dollar General, the succulents came from Dollar Tree, all the rocks and the dish came from Dollar Tree. And how cute is this? 
This looks really cute on the table. Or even if you have a patio, it would be cute on a patio. I think this turned out really cute too. Simple, quick, cute. And there it is underneath the charger plate. Just gives it a little more pizzazz. I love it under the charger plate. This is the copper one that's from Dollar Tree. And how pretty is this? I love the way this turned out. So thank you for watching. If you would subscribe, hit the notification bell and the like. We would really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.